Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to upload 3D scans to bit by bit and how to create them and edit them. So maybe you already saw that we have some new projects here that demonstrate uh, CAD geometry and the use of 3D scans in the projects. So let's say this plant was 3D scanned and merged into our script that had this uh, vase developed. And if you go and edit it, you'll see that you can run the script and it just creates this uh, vase beneath and the plant uh, on top. And you can play around with some parameters here to just update the vase. And yeah, that works quite well. So this tutorial is not about the script or about this plant, but about the fact that you can uh, create the 3D scans easily with your mobile phone and upload them to bit by bit. So how do you do that? Uh, the first thing is that you need to download uh, either a Luma Labs uh, application or Polycam. These are two of the most popular choices at the moment. You may create your splats in different ways, of course, but yeah, those are two most accessible and easy to use options. So in our case, I used Luma Labs and I exported the file to my computer, I download that via the airdrop and you can do it yourself as well. And then I use the super splat editor from Play Canvas. Uh, that is super easy to use. It's open source and free and I couldn't recommend it more. It's really nice. Um, so I will show you how you can edit your splats here, how you can just remove the noise from the 3D scan and make the file much smaller in size uh, before you really go further and use it in your projects. So. So let's get started and let's import uh, that file by hitting this file button and going into this open uh, page. And you see that I have here gsbike.pli and it takes 290 megs almost. So I open it up and it takes a bit of time, but you see that I have this huge sphere uh, with a lot of points and I have here my bike which is really small. As you saw, I zoomed out quite a lot. So it depends on your use case, of course, but uh, a lot of stuff uh, we don't need. If I want to just focus on the bike itself, I can remove everything here. So this is what I usually do. I just uh, rotate the camera to some good perspective and I click this Rect tool. So this will allow me to create rectangles of selection. I pick the points like that and I just hit delete uh, on them. So I do the same here. I hit delete, delete, delete. Then uh, I change the perspective a little. Um, so now this is the top view and I'll do the same. I'll remove a lot of points that I don't need at that side. Now I can zoom in a little, but this button is really useful, frame selection, which will refocus the camera uh, a little to make it more convenient to edit the remainder of the points. And I just continue deleting all the noise. You can also use this brush tool, which also just sort of selects the uh, points easily. So now uh, I'm also not yet finished. I'll just go ahead and continue removing the points that I think are really unnecessary. Now let's zoom in a little, uh, refocus, great. Let's do it like that. Let's clean, clean. And let's see what we have left. So let's zoom in. You see that the bike is standing. You can control the points, so let's make them smaller. This is now making 3D scan look much better. And what I also sometimes do is I enable this rings visualization and remove the largest rings because they can give you some really weird looking um, colors or glows in your 3D environment. So I do it like that. I just go and remove all the largest splats like that. Okay, so I'm not gonna play too much with this model. Uh, another thing that I want to do is just move it up so that the zero of that grid that we see here is aligned better. 
and yeah I like what I see it's enough for me for now and I'll just go ahead and export this uh, file via the export button so in bit by bit it's best to use this plat file the PLI that is compressed will not work and if you save it uh, via this button you will get a file that weighs way more than uh, this plat file that is compressed as well so let's just use this plat for now and hit enter to save it and now we have our file and let's go ahead and create the new project in bit by bit so let's do it uh, so tutorial demo 3d scan Gaussian splatting so this is a technique that we're using uh, for these 3d scans and uh, for script title will be bike and let's just use read as our coding editor you see that you can use uh, any of these three and let's start coding so we haven't yet uploaded anything now it's just the script that is being created we will clear this uh, default script and we'll go into this project here to manage it and click upload asset button let's name it bike choose a file and let's select the splat which is 11 megs down from 290 and you see that that's quite a big save right on the file size so you do need an account uh, on bit by bit if you want to upload those files to our cloud servers and we do accept files that are up to 100 megs uh, depending on your on the plan that you're using so yeah make sure to fit into that uh, range otherwise you can use either the local uh, file system and use the browser memory to upload that file uh, in that case you cannot really um, you cannot really share those projects but you can also find another uh, third-party cloud storage solution and use the links to that from bit by bit uh, to just pre preview them and load them um, there are many that you can choose so i'm not gonna go into details how to do that okay so we uploaded the gs bikes plat to our cloud server it's 11 megs it's fine it's small and now we can use it in our project so how do we do that well uh, the assets are managed here uh, the cloud asset to get it we use uh, this component and we will use the file name that was gsbike.splat so now it loads it and it loaded it but it's not yet visible right so to make it visible we have to construct an object url from this file we we'll do it like that and then we need to go to Babylon Gaussian splatting and create a Gaussian splatting mesh from URL you see that this takes an URL so this could be any URL you know maybe a URL to your own cloud provider your own hosting server uh, where you have that file it just needs to be publicly accessible right uh, it doesn't have to have some sort of uh, limitations uh, uh, for uh, cross-origin domains or whatever so you have to have it public and then you can use it in this case we just use our cloud file from the cloud storage you could of course also just uh, copy the link address of that file and paste it into this component here and that would also work so this is quite simple it's uh, quite easy to use and you see now that we have our bike in the 3d environment and you see all those glows it just comes from the fact that uh, yeah we didn't remove all those uh, splats that may be creating those um, things but yeah it looks quite nice uh, and so this is the way how you can um, upload the files to your uh, cloud storage if you have a huge splat and you just want to preview in bit by bit maybe you won't share it with anyone you know then you can also use uh, local assets and to do that i'll just create a new script let's also make it a script of read and local file and let's start coding okay so this time uh, we'll go and we will upload the local asset by hitting this button and we'll name it bike we'll go to choose a file we'll choose our splat file we'll say upload now it sits on the browser memory so you can use uh, any kind of splat really large ones if you want to uh, the only limitation is that you will not be able to share it with others 
but the next time you will open the browser itself if that's the same browser you will have it uh, available to you so with local assets you can just in here say you want to get a local asset you type bike so that's what uh, we named it we also need an object url of that file and we can go to babylon gaussian splitting and just plug it in here and as you saw previously with the cloud uh, asset this works exactly in the same way but now it comes from your browser memory and not anymore from the cloud storage so as i said in this case you can use really uh, huge splats uh, in one scene if you want to so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, we've learned how to edit the splats how to remove the noise in super splat editor from play canvas we imported the file via the cloud storage and also via the local uh, storage into bit by bit and we just previewed it uh, in your scenes and now you can just go ahead and maybe create another scan import that into the scene maybe you want to create a parametric can model out of it uh, yeah do whatever you want with it uh, it's really i think a nice way to uh, make your CAD model shine basically right uh, as you saw with the projects that we have here like it's giving a new level of detail to your CAD models like this table for example so this is uh, just coded in bit by bit as well and this is a larger script right of the table itself you can hit run and it computes you get this nice looking table with a beautiful palm in the center uh, and that plant just grows in my kitchen uh, which is <laughs> super nice to bring into the environment and yeah it just makes the CAD models look better I hope you enjoyed this video and let's see each other in the next ones cheers guys